Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome everybody to another episode of our 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope everybody's doing well, I know that I am, and today we're going to be talking to all the NPCs in Diamond City. I probably won't be commentating a lot, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and get some dialogue done. If anyone is one of those things, it's that secretary of his, her and her perfect hair. Mm-hmm. The mayor's secretary, come on, Ma. I cut her hair myself, and I know human hair. That's just it, Johnny. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference. If you nicked McDonough with Thank your razor, no. he'd bleed. Don't mean nothing. Hmm. Hey, hey. Around here, we call your haircut the scav special. Little flecks of blood, give it the personal touch. You should think about getting a trim. <clears throat> you there, talk some sense into my net with son. McDonough's secretary, is she a cent? What? You know what a synth is, right? Those machine people the Institute makes looks and acts just like the real thing. Only I think they made Geneva a little too perfect. No woman looks like she does. Oh, perky. So she's a synth, right? She has to be. Back up. What's the Institute? Oh, my God. God, really? What hole did they drag you out of, Southie? The Institute are the ones who kidnap people, replace them with synths. Not that McDonough would ever admit it. Paper's right about him. Are you going to answer my question? Geneva, is she a synth? No idea. You don't know? What? Born without a brain between your ears? You just said that no one could tell the difference, Ma. He don't know if Geneva's a synth, and neither do you. So could you lay off? Don't you talk to your mother that way, Johnny. Snip, snip, and bam, you're beautiful. What are my options? You name it. Shaves, long cuts, short cuts, braids, layering. Yeah, be easier just to show you. Got an empty chair right here. Not today. Sure, some other time. The latest hairstyle from the upper stand. Hey, you were in the paper, right? You're 200 years old? Looking pretty good for your age, huh? Why buy just an ordinary piece of wood? A swatter Need is a some custom, custom made piece hardware? of gin. We've got a free work Uh, hello. Have you been here before? What's it matter? Because Fallon's isn't a charity. The clothes are for sale if you have the money. No lifting, all right? You have some kind of problem with shoplifters? Nothing me and my 10 gauge haven't been able to handle. Now that we understand each other, welcome to Fallon's. Happy to show you everything in stock. Fallon's basement, interesting name. Yeah, it's ancient. There was a Fallon's here back even before the war. Granddad always said we had a tradition of quality and affordability. Guess affordability got too expensive for some folks. Damn thieves. And it ain't like Diamond City Security helps. Why doesn't Diamond City Security help you? Phew. My husband got taken, all right, by the Institute. Security wouldn't look into it. I raised a stink, and now I'm blacklisted. Your husband was taken by the Institute? Well, he ain't here anymore. That's for sure. Not like the Institute leaves a trail besides those damn synths. What's a synth? You're joking, right? A synth. Those machine people the Institute builds. Some of them even look human. Enough you wouldn't know the difference. Lucky me, huh? The Institute takes my Charlie and doesn't even bother replacing him. Not now. Fine. Take it outside. You can buy uh, some legendary armor from her, by the way. So if you're interested, go ahead and uh, do that whenever you uh, have the caps. Let's go ahead and head outside to Diamond City. 
Don't move, Synth. What have you done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? I swear, I'm not a Synth. Don't shoot, for God's sakes, we're family! Put the gun down, now! He's a Synth! He'll kill us all! Kyle, no! Uh, okay, me. show's Question over. There are no Tell Synths me, in Diamond City. Hear me? Just you folks and your damn paranoia. Yeah, Piper, I am. But I ain't buying your lousy music. Hey. Oh, uh... He pulled the gun on me. Thanks. My own brother. I guess. What happened? I'm, I'm not a synth. I, I told him. I, I kept telling him. Why didn't he listen to me? I, uh... I need a minute. Officer? I need you to step away, Scabber. I understand, officer. I just want to know what happened. What, you didn't hear the shouting? Guy pulls a gun on his own brother, thinking he's a synth. It's that newspaper's fault. Got people all riled up, thinking their own family might be replaced by machines. Look, I'm sorry you got caught up in all this, but it's over, okay? Just go about your business like nothing happened. Better that way. Oh What's God. everyone still standing around for? Kyle. Go back to your own damn business. All right, we're uh, going to use our new Coca-Cola. This is uh, what we needed it for. We needed to give it to Sheffield. Let's do that now. You okay? So thirsty. Doctor says I can't drink liquor no more. Cola. Need a new Coca-Cola. New Coca-Cola. Here you go. Real sweet of you. Ah, <gasps> oh, thank you. Thank you. Americans are hard to come by these days. Hey, Sheffield. What do you think about coming to work for me? Really? You... You mean it? That's right. Okay, I'll... I'll do it. Hey. You there! You need a genuine, authentic, custom-made hickory swatter. What's a swatter? <laughs> Rookie, eh? A swatter, my friend, is a Diamond City tradition. See, it used to be that this whole place was a stadium. And two teams would meet and play a game called baseball. One team would beat the other team to death with these things called baseball bats. And, and the best bats were called swatters. True fact. Oh, really? What kind of teams were there? There was the Diamond City Demolishers. Big brutes of guys. Uh, played in full power armor with special pneumatic arms, you know, for swinging. Then you had the Lexington Ladies. An all-female team with Coach Bloody Mary Sue at the helm. Highest kill count in the league. Ah, I could spend all day talking about the Concord Crushers. Oh, or the Quincy Killmeisters, but you get the idea. Uh, it was a hell of a sport. Look, dumbass, that's not how baseball was played. That right, Mr. Smarty Pants? Hey, if you're such an expert, how do you think it was played? There were balls, strikes, three bases, and home runs. You kept score by how many runners made it to home plate. Huh. Sounds almost elegant. You sure that's baseball? I like my version better. Now, can I interest you in these genuine, authentic, custom-made hickory swatters. Got any work? Well, if you want to hmm, help the sport, I got a lead on a stash of pre-war collector's items. Coach, quitting his for punks western, had an estate not too far from here. Legend says when he retired, the league presented him with a baseball, catcher's mitt, and playing card signed by all the other coaches. See where I'm going with this? I'll pay 100 caps each for those relics. What do you say? A card, a mitt, and a ball. Got it. I thank you. And baseball thanks you. He's got a legendary weapon as well. So does this vendor. And I believe she does as well. But she's the junk vendor. So if you want any of the legendary uh, stuff, just go to all the vendors.
It's the new guy. That's you, right? Yeah, I'm the new guy. Well, it's good to have you here. Name's Arturo Rodriguez. If you need protection, let's talk. So you know weapons, huh? Listen, I can sell you guns, swords, whatever, and they'll keep you alive for sure. But the real secret is in the mods. The little personal touches, install a scope, expand the clip size, whatever. You spend time with your gear, and you'll have the right answer to every problem. Anyway, let's get back to you and what kind of protection you need. Not today. Another time, then. <clears throat> you? I, I don't know you. Just keep your distance. Why? Because I don't know you, and I will not serve a synth pretending to be human. So are you human? Why would you think I'm a synth? Why wouldn't I? A synth looks just like a person, with hair and sweat and blood and everything. So, are you human or not? Human as the day I was born. Well, you do look human enough, but I'll be watching you. I have eyes like a... Well, they're good eyes. Got it? All right. We can do business, but no funny stuff. I don't need anything. Remember, we don't serve sense. Right here is home plate. You can buy that for, I think, 2,000 caps at the mayor's office. Hey. You look like you need a prescription filled. Something to settle your nerves, let you chill. Did you say something about drugs? That's right. All the chems you need to fill out your lifestyle, balance you out. Everyone here buys from me. Sometimes security needs a little psycho, or an engineer needs some Mentats. And heck, Rad X is plain universal. Looking for a job, if you got one. Yeah, I got something. Looking for a mutated fern, if you find any. I hear some grows out near Forest Grove Marsh. Natural radiation sucker. Be great for cooking Rad X or Rad away. Mutated fern. Sounds good. Cool. Doctor? A new patient. A new file to open. Do you have a legitimate medical concern? Or is this about our facial reconstructive services? Facial reconstruction? What's that? Uh, it's Doc Crocker's specialty. If you're interested, talk to him about it. Just head through the door with our logo on it. No, if you have an actual medical problem, speak up. So what kind of treatments are common around here? Bandaging wounds and cleaning radiation exposure are the most common things you outsiders usually ask for. That and kicking a chem habit. Not now. Very well. Let's go into the mega surgery center. A new face. Strong, but not perfect. For a nominal fee, Doc Crocker can give you the looks you've only dreamed about before. Wait, what are you going to do to me? I'm proposing surgery. Not just any surgery. Facial reconstruction surgery. Safe and instantaneous. New jawline. New eye color. Remove scars. Add scars. A new you. A more perfect you. Not interested. Ah, what a shame. We're going to come down this alleyway here. And if you look to the left, that's where security is. If you look to the right, there's a bounty board. I ain't telling you how to pick your friends. The pipe is kind of a troublemaker. And let's go into the schoolhouse. Time for a pop quiz, everyone. Ah, <gasps> Mr. Zwicky, we had a pop quiz yesterday. And we've learned a lot since then, so we're going to reinforce that knowledge with a little quiz. But I'm tired. I'm detecting a high degree of fatigue in all our little scholars. Perhaps the quiz can wait? <sighs> all right, you guys win. We'll do the quiz later. Yes! Hey. Ain't you a little old to be in school? Whatever, dude. 
Let's grab this magazine. Yes. Gives us a little bit of foreshadowing. Huh, wish I'd brought something to peruse myself. And then we're going to go upstairs and listen to some more dialogue. Oh, wow. You're tall. Do you know that radiation is why Brahmin have two heads? It's true. Ah, a new scholar come to join us. Let's test your math skills. What is 12 times 15? Is it 180? That's right. I see your parents raise you with a respect for your education. Family. It is important, yes? This thing called love. I hear the children talk about. I think they need that to learn. A child needs all the love you can give them. Oh, please do not get upset. Why is it when I talk about these things there are always tears? I have one more question before you leave. It's not another quiz. I just... I don't get to talk to many adults. This love I hear about... Do you think you can have it for someone, even if the two of you are very, very different? Who are you talking about? No one. Just imagine one is tall and handsome and smart, and one is gentle but a bit uh, metallic. If you love someone, hold on to them. Tomorrow you might not have the chance. I thank you. You have helped me make up my mind about something. Water out in the Commonwealth? Henry you get Sally sick. That's what my friend Shang told and me. And they cut them all up into Stay four there, slices Mr. each. How many slices would they have? All right, let's get out of here. That's easy. Ah, but what if... We're going to go ahead and make our way to the back of Diamond City here to listen to Mayor McDonough have his little speech. So let's chill here and wait for everybody to gather. Also, if you need some mute fruit or potatoes, uh, this is a good place to go and grab them. You won't get in trouble. It's not stealing. Everybody, everybody, I need everyone's attention. I would like to address the subject that is on everyone's mind, and that is the disgusting article Piper has written. Diamond City has stood united for over 150 years, and what keeps us united are two things. First is the great green guardian behind me, the wall, our protector and our savior from the filth of the outside, and second, is our faith and trust in each other. The faith and trust that has given us prosperity, security, and education for every citizen. And while the paper might point their fingers at synths and other ghost stories to drive us apart, we will not betray this sacred trust. Now, I want everyone to hear these next words very carefully. I am not a synth. I am the same flesh and blood boy who grew up on these streets, who was born in a shack just down the waterfront to Martha and Patrick McDonough. And I will not abandon my city due to the heinous allegations of the press. God bless this city. God bless the wall. He's so full of shit. Let's go talk to Abbott. Don't touch the paint. What? Why? This is the wall. The great green guardian that keeps out the bad guys. Uh, no one's broken through the wall. Never. Least we can do for her in return is keep her looking pristine. Thinking you need a little education. Maybe a bit of community service. What do you say? What do you need done? You see this paint I'm using? Only one place left in the whole Commonwealth you can get it. Hardware Town. Rune store close by to the west. Bring back a can of paint and it'll be a hundred caps in your pocket. How's that sound? What can you tell me about Hardware Town? Raiders moved in a ways back. Security says they can't handle them. That's why I'm running low. So, you still up for it? Paint retrieval. I'm on it. Much obliged. Now let's uh, make our way to Shang. He's a pretty cool NPC. I like him. And like I said, this is a great place to get 
um, potatoes and mute fruit. Cheng, what have I told you about keeping the lake clean? Don't make me shut down this little stand of yours. Every drop of water that comes out of that filter is 100% pure. Why is a legitimate businessman like myself always got to be hassled by city regulation, huh? It's a health hazard, Cheng. It's a profit hazard is what I say. I manage the water, and I'll do it without your interference. Thank you very much. Water, get your fresh water I hear there's here. a bar in the old theater district that's for raiders only. The combat zone. I'd stay clear if I was you. Hey there, purified water. You won't find this out on the Commonwealth. You by yourself out here? That's right. Been on my own since I was eight. I'm a fully independent man. Got my own place. Go to night classes. The whole shebang. Now, how about I get you a bottle of water, huh? Anything I can do to help out? Ah, the industrious type. Wanna help me clean out the water supply? You won't believe the junk people throw in there. Overloads the filters. What kind of stuff is down there? You're looking for big things. Anything around the size of a book, usually. I'm on it. Just don't drown. I'll never clean your carcass out of there. Let's go ahead and go into our pit boy real quick. And then we're going to go down to miscellaneous. And put on... Clean out the water. Put on some radix. Hop in this water. We're not going to stay smooth skins much Ugh. longer if we don't get a move on. Maybe. Let's grab this stuff over here first. <gasps> There's a piece over here. Purified water. Don't die of thirst. Sure, there was a better way to do that. <laughs> a skull here. Typewriter. Toaster. <gasps> Alright, we got everything. Let's go ahead and go over to Shang and turn in the quick quest. Look how clean the water is now. Good job. Here's your pay. Now, how about you pick up some bottles for the road? Shang, why was there a skull in the water? Eh, so maybe you weren't the first person I asked. Maybe the last guy found an unstable hand grenade. Hey, once the filters do their job, it's all water under the bridge. Am I right? Anyway, uh, need some water? Not interested. You're lost, jackass. His character is amazing. He always makes me laugh. Let's go over to the science center now. Professor, I have a new theory about how the Institute makes the synths. Oh no, we've been talking about this, remember? After last time, the shouting, me sleeping on the cold floor of the lab for three nights. That was your choice. And seriously, growing synths from the ground using recombinant plant nuclei? I mean, how could they even? Ah, uh ha! -huh. You do want to talk about it. Ah, uh, oh, look, we have a visitor. Dr. Da, dear, if you could bother them while I walk away from this conversation. Hi there. Are you here for today's free biology lesson? Biology lesson? That's right. Usually the kids from the schoolhouse are the first to drop by, but. I don't see why I can't start the lesson with you. Now, we all talk about radiation like it's a single thing, but it's actually a term referring to dozens of different ionizing rays. You have X-rays, beta rays, gamma rays, but which one are we most worried about? The one most associated with the big old bombs 200 years ago. Gamma rays? That's right. Now, gamma rays are bad, really bad. If your body absorbs too much of that kind of radiation, you'll suffer from fatigue, anemia, even death. But some life forms have been living with gamma radiation exposure for two centuries now, and they've adapted. Neat, huh? What kinds of things have adapted to radiation? Oh, that's the perfect segue into the field trip portion of the lesson. Are you ready? Field trip? That's right. You go out, do some science of your own, and come back. I usually have a prize for the best junior scientist, which I guess is just automatically going to you. What do you say? Sign me up. You're going to go out and find a bloat fly gland. You see, the oversized bloat fly of today evolved from an earlier species of a smaller fly. 
Radioactive adaptation has resulted in a unique gland that enables it to balance and maintain speed despite its size. So what do you say? Ready to go out and dissect one? I think I have something already. That a boy? Who's my favorite junior scientist? You are. Here's a little something for you. Don't spend it all in one place. And that's why you need the bloat fly gland as well. Can't believe you eat that food. Only one thing worth buying in the dugout inn, and that's the booze. Man's gotta eat. What can I say? A real Diamond City boy eats at the noodle stand. Vadim, Vadim, I need to talk. Just a minute, Yefim. I am in middle of story. So then I am crossing river, right? Wearing nothing but a smile. When will out comes the most dangerous of all sea monsters, a mire lurk. A mire lurk? Come on. That's like two out of ten points of danger tops. Now, if you want to talk something really deadly. Vadim! Oh, I forgot you were there, Yefim. What is it? You know what? Never mind. I'll handle it myself. You there. We need to have a conversation. Do I know you? No. But I've heard of you. I'm always looking for people who know how to handle themselves in dangerous situations. What's the job? I don't know yet. Whatever needs to be done once my boss has had a look at you, I can assure you that it will be dangerous. And that you'll be paid fairly. I live for danger. Where do I sign up? I like your enthusiasm. By the way, I'm Edward Deegan. You'll mostly be working for me, but you'll need to talk to my boss first. His name is Jack Cabot. He likes to personally interview everyone I hire. He's careful like that. Come down to Cabot House in Beacon Hill and ask to talk to Jack. I'll let him know you're coming. Excuse me. What's your story? Mercenary? Caravan guard? You first. What's your name? Hawthorne. And you are definitely from out of town. I know every settlement from both sides of the Charles River, and I've never seen you. Anyway, I'm just kicking back and sharing stories while I'm between things. I've been all over. Seen vaults, pre-war ruins, and plenty of monsters. You've been to a vault? Yeah. Ever heard of Vault 81? They're standoffish, but every once in a while, they'll let new people in. Let's hear your best monster story. I'm from Diamond City. You want to talk something really scary? It's the Institute in their sense. Don't go to University Point. Trust me, you don't want to know what they're capable of. So you explore old ruins? Last place I was going to check out was Salem. Real old town far to the north. Never made it, though. Got a bad feeling about that area. See you around, Hawthorne. <laughs> yeah, take it easy. See this bar? I killed a man for it. <laughs> no, no, I kid, I kid. <laughs> he is dead, though. <laughs> now, let me know when you're ready to order. So, this your bar? Damn straight it is. My brother, Yefim, and I make the best moonshine in the entire Commonwealth. We call it Bobrov's Best. Had to start renting out rooms just so customers uh, had a place to safely pass out after drinking it. <laughs> Not today. That's too bad. Hey, Scaver. Got plenty of Brahmin meat on the hooks. Wait, what kind of meat is this? You never heard of Brahmin? Big, dumb, got four legs and two heads. They're the only cattle around. Everything's fresh from the Codman family farms. Sometimes we get weird stuff from the caravans, too. Weird stuff? Weirder than two-headed cow meat? Yeah, Prince Charming. Weirder than that. Mirelurk bloat flies, 
rad stags. It's all protein, right? Ain't like you can be picky in the Commonwealth. Gonna pass. <sighs> Up there is the mayor's office. If you like to buy the uh, house in Diamond City, just go up there, pay 2,000 caps. Probably nothing. Some guy came into town, said he picked up a weird distress call in the Cambridge ruins. Now, this is what I like about you, Wellingham. You know what you are. Not trying to be anything other than helpful. Uh, not like those people down there. Lower field workers always want what they haven't earned. Oh, an astute observation, sir. Let me just freshen your glass again. Thank you, Wellingham. Come on, Darcy, let's go. Take it easy. I don't think she wants to leave just yet. Hey, this is between me and my wife. Why don't you mind your own damn business for once? Oh, God, Paul, why do you always have to make a scene? Pour me another drink, Henry. Damn it, Darcy, I just want you to come home. I'll be home later. I can't believe you'd do this to me, Cook. Do what to you, Paul? You smug bastard. You keep away from my wife, goddammit. You'd better get out of here before you do something stupid. You son of a bitch. Don't hurt him, Henry. Uh -huh. ah! Ah! Go on. Get out of here. I'll be at home, Darcy, taking care of our son. Poor guy. Later, bud. Shoot. Sorry I had to see that. Things are usually a lot quieter around here. Perfect place to drink, if you're buying. What was that argument about? Uh, nothing much. You see, Darcy here likes to relax and enjoy life from time to time, and her husband Paul doesn't. He's not a bad guy, really. Just a little uptight. Too bad he can't learn to relax, huh, Darcy? Shut up. I don't come here to talk about Paul. You there! I haven't seen you in here before. Why don't you make yourself useful and buy me a drink or something? You don't look like you need another drink. Aren't you all high and mighty, then? Why don't you get lost so I can drink in peace? Lighten up, Darcy. This isn't your own private bar, no matter what you might think. Now, you need to order anything? So is this your place? That's right. Owner, bartender, sympathetic ear. I try to provide a little oasis from the hardships of life. Name's Cook, by the way. Henry Cook. Let me know if I can get you anything. Not today. Some other time. Hey, I think those Bobrov brothers are looking for you. The next episode, we'll probably be talking to the Bobrov uh, brothers, or Bovov, I, I can't pronounce their last name. Where it is, something bad went down in the old museum of witchcraft up near Salem. Why would anyone even go there? Sometimes you gotta wonder, does anyone fight back? Institute Protection has to have for enemies, sale. right? Hand what? You mean the pieces. railroads? That's a fairy tale, man. They don't exist. Hey, swatter, 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 nah, swatter. I heard from my cousin. Swatter. He knows a guy that works for him. They got a code phrase and everything. Follow the Freedom Trail. The hell is that supposed to mean? You're full of it, and that kind of talk is going to get you snatched up by the synths. Let's go inside uh, Valentine's right, detective agency. Stop in safety. No synths allowed at the surplus. Told you your luck wouldn't last forever. His ties. Oh, Nick. Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, but it's just... The detective... He's gone missing. 
Nikki's missing. <laughs> what has he gotten himself into this time? Do you have any idea how I could find him? He disappeared working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Who's this Skinny Malone character? I don't know much about him, but he's from Good Neighbor, and that means he's in the well-pressed suits and machine gun school of thuggery. You said Malone's from Good Neighbor? Yeah, it's a tough neighborhood. Northeast aways. People with power there care about two things, style and body count. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please, hurry. Let's pick up the Robco fund. This is Zeta Invaders. Perfect. Well, take your time. The literate keep me fed. Hey, you there. I, um, I have a question for you. Go ahead. I'm listening. You were in the tap house before when... You tried to punch out the bartender. What was that all about? I thought it was dead obvious. Cook is sleeping with my wife. And I'm supposed to just pretend I don't know. Until Cook decides he's bored with her and she comes crawling back home to me. Sounds like a tough situation. You don't know the half of it. But I'm not going to just sit here and let Cook steal my wife and destroy my family. I'm going to go back and talk to him, and I want you to come with me. You saw? You won't take me seriously otherwise. I don't want to have to really hurt him. I just want him to leave Darcy alone. If you're just going to talk to him, why do you need me along? I don't want to hurt Cook, but if he doesn't listen to me, I don't know what I might do. He won't dare act so smug when he sees you at my back, and then nobody has to get hurt. Okay, I'll help you. Okay, good, good. I'm sure Cook will back down once he sees you're with me. This will work better if I talk to Cook by myself. You're probably right. I am so angry at Cook, I might lose control. Just get him to leave Darcy alone. I'll get it done, no matter what. Good. Don't kill him if you don't have to, but otherwise, I don't care what you do to him. He deserves to suffer for what he's done. Is that a pit boy? Give my left arm for one of those. This is our last stop before we end the video. If you're here to pray, sit down and be quiet. Good to see someone new in the chapel. Diamond City treating you all right? This your chapel here, Pastor? Well, that depends. I suppose I should say this chapel really belongs to God. But since I never get around to deciding which God in particular, I guess you could say it belongs to all of them. Now, if you ever need a quiet place to sit down and ponder the Almighty in whatever form strikes your fancy, we're always open. So you don't practice any particular religion here? As long as you believe in something, you're welcome. Diamond City is full of people trying to build a better life. I just don't want them to forget what makes them human while they're at it. So the chapel is open 24 hours a day to whatever form of worship you like, long as it's peaceful. Thanks, Pastor. Feel free to make yourself at home. Anything I can do? You just say the word. Let's go ahead and end the video here. I think this is a good spot. We went all through Diamond City. Um, talked to just about every NPC we could. Um, that was relevant, that is. Besides up in the mayor's office. But really that's just if you want to buy a house. So. 
With that being said, I want to tell everybody thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.